Oh, no, please tell me he's not doing this. As dangerous as Mr. Slater's actions were, this court has not been presented with enough evidence to justify a costly criminal trial. I see no valid reason to move ahead with this case. Your Honor, with all due respect... Did he just say... It's over. Motion to dismiss, Your Honor. It's over. Counsel, please approach the bench. It's over. Mm -hmm. Oh... Okay, well then, what's going on? He said it's over, so then what is there to discuss? I don't think the ADA is on board yet. Well, who cares? The judge just said no trial, so so then let's get the hell out of here and go see Spike before the guy in the robe changes his mind. I heard the guy in the robe is some reckless and arrogant. Maybe we shouldn't push him. We can go around this again and again, counsel. There was no real abduction, which completely invalidates your kidnapping charge. No kidnapping, no trial, no case. This case is dismissed. All rise. <clears throat> okay, I know this is hard, but it is going to be okay, I promise. And I'm not deserting you. I'm going to be back really soon, right? Uh, oh, Eric. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, how's California? Ah, warm, busy, gorgeous. Took care of everything. Great. So, uh, how are things going here? I think it's it's going okay. I mean, I'm new at this, so I'm kind of winging it, but they're settling in, and they haven't been spotted, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Did I did I do something wrong? No, nah, you've been great with the Baron. Okay, but. Well, you couldn't have known this, but uh, usually hotels and motels are off limits. Oh, right. Too obvious. Yeah. Maybe not for the average person, but a good detective would be all over it. Thompson hired a detective, actually. Really good one. We're talking the best. Aaron lost me, Ryan. I, I, I don't mean to sound conceited, but... The truth is, I, I don't know how I hooked up with someone so incredible as your sister. She ended up as crazy about me as I am about her, which is why it makes no sense for her just to dump me out of the blue. She doesn't want this any more than you do. That was very obvious to me when I was sitting there and I was talking to her. Well, yeah, here we are. Look, I have no idea. I don't know what happened for her to come to this decision. I don't, but I, it's, it's like she's got a secret that she's not letting either of us in on. I'm going to take this. Excuse me. Hello? You're kidding me. That's fantastic. All right, yeah, I'll be right there. Thanks. Ryan, I've got to follow up on this case, but I really want to speak to you about what's going on with Aaron. Is there any chance you can hang out for a bit? Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to be long. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I'll just finally try and conquer that pinball machine. <laughs> hey, was, that, was that anything about Kate Martin at all? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I wish. But it does concern a missing child. My client is a, is a father desperate to get his girl back. to say to you. Oh, well, when has that ever been true? Fine, let me rephrase. You don't want to hear anything I have to say to you. Oh, um, I'll grant you that. Look, Erica, I don't know what is going on between you and Jack. I don't want to know. I don't care. The important thing is nothing is going on between me and Jack. Nada. Zilch. Zero. Brooke, you've spent a lifetime devouring my leftovers. At least you used to wait until I was finished with my men before you made your move. Although I have heard that unattached, lonely women get more and more desperate. The yacht engine died. We couldn't get a signal on our cell phones, and your husband spent the whole night working on the boat. Oh, would revving you up a little bit, Brooke? Hmm. Well, tell me, how long has it been? I should have listened to Jack and let you sweat. Oh, believe it or not, Brooke, this has absolutely nothing to do with us being trapped on that boat all night. Erica, why don't you tell Brooke the real reason that you're so flipped out? The only way Greg Maddox is ever going to tell us what he did with Kate is if he's freaked within an inch of his life. And this is where you are wrong, babe. 
JR did not team up with me on this one until after the fact. I did this all on my own. I only clued him in after I made my move. Yeah, but I'm totally down with what you've done, Jamie. And I'm in it, here on out. JR, a man could die. You really want to get involved with this after everything you just went through with Kendall? No one is going to die. The point is to keep him alive. Yeah, you say that now, but what happens if he dies accidentally? Oh, but one near miss with the law isn't enough for you? Are you determined to spend your entire life away from our son? You're overreacting. Madden doesn't know who put him in there. He never saw Jamie. And he's not going to see either one of us. Jamie, no, okay? You guys are playing Russian roulette. And it needs to stop before a bullet goes through one of our lives.